Hello my friends and hello Photoshop lovers. Welcome to another exciting episode in my Photoshop tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to create this flyer inside of Photoshop. So if you don't mind, tag along and let's get this done together. If you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Assets, click the link in the description of this video to get all of this goodies your background. And also, I have these template flyers also in the description of this video. So get yours now and design without stress using these templates, right? Check the link in the description of this video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to actually hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notification so you'll miss any of my videos. Without having to say much, let's get to work. So the first thing you need to do is click on file and um, click on new. So this is 4x5, 300 and I'm going to impute the name here. So it's going to be club flyer, just like this. And RGB resolution 300, everything else stays the same. So click like this. And it brings you inside of Photoshop, right? So in case you need a video on how to set your Photoshop up like this, the link is just above on top like this. So you can customize your interface like this. So I'm just going to go on and use this color like this. Um, but I'm going to use a darker shade of this color. So you can copy the color code and actually use the same thing too. Right? So let's move on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to my resource file. Um, the resource file is also in the link of the description, right? So you can click to get the resource file that I used. So I'm just going to bring in this first image. I'm going to rotate it like this. And um, I'm going to move it up to the top left corner here like this. And I'm going to click enter. I'm going to apply the mask, select the brush. Of course, I'm going to conceal these areas so that it blends well so make sure it's in black and i'm going to conceal these areas here like this okay so considering this part um that's the first step i'm just going to move this upward here like this right place this here i'm going to make it pick up a buffer then i'll change the blend mode to screen now ctrl j to make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to flip this horizontally like this Right, and I'm just going to drag to the point where the two lights actually intersect like this. So this is what I want to create. Right, so with this done, I have my first level of background. Right, so I'm going to click on the background layer. I'm just going to bring in the image. Um, not necessarily, it has to be on top of the lights, but then you can always adjust that. So I'm just going to drag it up like this, and drag it up like this manually. Move it upward like this all right so what i'm going to do is make a slightly bigger like this click enter apply the mask of course we want to conceal some areas so with my brush selected i'm going to conceal these areas like this conceal these areas like this and um, yeah and good to go all right so we have our image set like this so i'm just going to increase it like this and um, yeah we're good to go Okay, so I'm going to select these two, Ctrl G to group them. I'm going to name this background, that's BG, like this. And I'm going to lower the opacity just a bit so it's not too much. Attention on the details of the fly, not the background. Okay, so having done this, I'm going to go over to the resource file. I'm going to go into my graphic designer assets and I'm going to go and look for this particular file so under the premium background i'm going to check for this file this one here i'm going to use this particular half tone i'm going to bring it in drag it down like this and uh, make it slightly bigger like this to cover space click enter apply the mask and i'm going to select the brush if you're using a windows and conceal these areas to make sure you have a smooth blend and change the blend mode to overlay just like this to create this nice effect that you see on it. Right? So having done that, what you want to do next is um, select this. I'm going to add a new layer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going over to my rectangle. 
uh, sorry, this is not a rectangle. So delete this, click on this, make sure you're selecting the rectangle and draw a rectangle like this, right? So draw the rectangle and I'm going to double click on the rectangle to change the color. I'm going to use a color from this part here. Yeah, right and click ok make sure it's dark so you have a good contrast level so go over to blow apply gaussian blow convert to smart object and um, increase the level of blow but you don't want it to be too much somewhere around here is good when you're done simply click on ok like this right simply click on ok like this I can extend it by holding shift and of course this is what I'm going to get. So I can then come here and reduce the opacity here and just like this, I think this is better. Right? So having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call up my text tool. So go over to your text where you have a T here and select your text. So I'm just going to type with my text here like this. And um, the first word I'm going to type is toxic. So the font that I've used is one of the fonts I've used in my previous videos. It's called Montserrat. So you can get that also inside of the Smart Designer Premium Assets so that you can use for your projects and for your practice. So toxic here like this, I'm going to duplicate this country G and I'm going to use this to type Friday like this All right so selecting the two of them ctrl T I'm just going to reduce the size like this and try to position it well somewhere around here is nice okay click enter and um, the next thing I want to do is Select the two texts, Toxic and the Friday, Ctrl G to group them. And um, right click and go to Blending option. You'll see selecting the text. That's the group text. Now make sure you choose Stroke, not Color Overlay, Stroke. Right? So when you choose Stroke, make sure your foreground color and your background color is set to the purple and the white respectively. Alright? So that's the only way you're going to get this. And make sure to use my settings. This is on 13. You can use 10 also. It's good. So I'm just going to leave mine here and click OK. So this is the effect that I want to create out of this. So when that is done, I'm just going to move it to the middle like this. And um, blending option again. I want to add some shadows to it. So click on drop shadow. Of course, you can see that it's too much, by the way. Right, so I can reduce it here from the opacity and um, you can see, copy my settings to and when you're done, click OK like this, right? So, um, now that that's out of the way, so we can then go over to our resource file and bring in the text I had already typed this so that we don't get to waste our time doing all of the typing and everything. Right, so go over to your text and um, position this where it's supposed to be. Next thing you want to do is create a new layer of the text. Make sure your foreground color is set to that purple. So click here once and change this to no, not screen. Yes, color dodge add. And click here and also click here right so uh, make sure you're strategic in your clickings so here create a new layer here also on the background click here click here and set the blend mode to linear dodge art like this right so you have this nice looking effect okay so um now that you have all of this this is good to go. You have it in the right places. Create a new layer and create a color balance layer. Right? So you can copy my settings for this. I'm just going to add a little bit of cyan to it. And um, add a little bit of greens to it. Add some yellows to it like this. 
right? So you have this. I'm going to go over to the highlights. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta to it. And for the shadows, I'm going to add extra blues to it like this to give me this nice looking effect. Okay. So zoomed out, this is what I have, right? So create a new layer here. I'm going to use curve adjustment layer. No vibrance, let me use vibrance. I'm just going to push the vibrance all the way up. You can see when I tone it down, this is what I have. But I'm going to leave it somewhere around here. Make sure you're not doing too much, right? So leaving it here is good. Add a little bit of saturation. And there you go. There you have it. Uh, flyer is good and ready to go, right? Okay, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please, overall, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can share this video to your friends, your loved ones, your enemies. And always make sure you stay tuned to this channel. I'll see you in the next video just ahead.